Well, after the devastation in Rolling Fork, healthcare workers from across the nation have come to help people in need. That devastating tornado hit one month ago, so one month later, transportation is still a concern. Ken South is live up in Rolling Fork this afternoon with how one doctor is treating his patients. Ken? Yeah, today marks one month since a massive EF4 tornado pummeled Rolling Fork with 190 mile per hour winds. Now, this town, of course, is in the process of recovering from that disaster. And, you know, everybody that I talked to today says that they aren't going anywhere. They intend to stay and rebuild no matter how difficult because this is their home. Now, a vital part of a community recovering is getting back essential services like health. Care. We stopped by an open health clinic today and talked to the doctor on duty. He was the chief of staff at Sharkey Issaquina Community Hospital. He said they performed triage the night of the storm and they opened the clinic with a damaged roof the Tuesday after the storm. He told us that treating patients locally will help this community heal. You're not sure how to reach us? Call us. Um, and there's a lot we can do over the telephone. We can do things with telehealth. Uh, the important thing is don't let your health go because it was disrupted by the tornado, you know, now more than any, more than any time. If you need help, we're here for you. Dr. George says that many people lost transportation, of course, the night of the storm, and it's really important, it's crucial that they have um, uh, health care within walking distance for people recovering uh, from tornado injuries. Now, of course, there are people here that are actively rebuilding as we speak from that tornado one month ago, and we'll have more of their stories coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock on 12 News. Melanie, back to you.